Halloween pickups. YouTube Oz it going the goat house is back. We are back picking every single week nine game. We're here every Tuesday night doing that every single week. We got Matt Patricia's here, folks. I got some width on me right here. Look at this. That's some good girth you, you can't got. Really see if I look great from the front, from the side. <laughs> questionable. questionable. Well, questionable. the camera adds ten pounds. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. Are you questionable huh. for Sunday? No, I'm in. Oh, okay. He's in. You gonna take notes with that pencil, or are you just gonna leave it there? It's a nice Ticonderoga. I'm just gonna leave it there. All right. I don't even know what you just said, <laughs> but there is the leaderboard. There is the leaderboard for the X Subs League, and the winner from that league in Week Eight was Evan Howell. His picks no, are either. in this week's video. If you win the week, you're in the next video. So sign up. Links down below. Code go on Liquid IV. I need some of that. Trade deadlines already heating up. Viking straight for Cam Robinson. Let's get Go in. Go Big Orange. Oh, you missed. oh, yeah. Pete. I forgot about that. Go Pete. Big Pete's Rocky Top. Being, Let's you go. Know, did, did that make any sense? The Vols. He's not a Titans guy. Never no, happened. Never, never happened. Well, we don't even talk about it. Happened. The Vols for Pete. Let's, once again, Ooh. get into those pick. The green screen working wonders on my Stitch outfit. This thing is hot as shit. Uh, but I can't complain because Fatty over here is really – he's probably struggling big oh. time. But Thursday night football, Texans, Jets. The Jets are wearing their all-black uniforms. The Jets are mm. really struggling. They went all in, Super Bowl or a bust, and it's blowing up. It's busting right in their face right now. Whoa. Um, hey, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. We have we like to have you fun here. It's, this game's going to be on Halloween here. Wow. Give me and, – and look at The Jets are embracing – the, the theme, wearing the black. Are give you me the, doing it? Give me the Jets at oh, home. Wow. Let's go. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Wow. Whoa. Just look at my, look at my, look at my tail. Wait, Wait that's a nice tail. Let's look at one, two. It's, it's there. Yeah, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. The hand was covering. Can't okay. confirm. Can't confirm. Can't confirm it. Oh, all right. So the Jets are actually favored in this game, and oh, I thought that was pretty wild. That. And I'm going to struggle the whole video, by the way. But the show goes on, folks. thought that was pretty wild. But then again, wild. Nico Collins is still out. Mm -hmm. Stephon Diggs is out for the year. It's Tank Dell. And they got some other guys. They got some guys. They got some guys. I don't know if I've dropped that they this year want, yet. They probably want Noah Brown still. They probably want him back. Yeah, they're gonna, they might trade for someone, but is he going to be ready for Shut Thursday up, night? Pete. No, he shan't. Um, it's so hard to pick the Jets right now. They're, so hard. It's so hard, even though Pete did it. I'm going to roll with the Texans. I could see it because Vegas is labeling it a trap already. They just know they know their stuff, you know, unless it's just rigged, and that's how they know their stuff. I don't know, maybe. It's going to be spooky on Thursday. The Jets' right? defense, it's going to be spooky because it's Halloween. I could totally end their home. I could totally see the Jets. They're wearing black for Halloween. But C.J. Stroud, Joe Mixon. Aaron Rodgers. No, Stroud and Mixon, they do it. They go ahead and they do it, okay? Jets key to success, pound the football. Not to the one-two punch because they don't have a one-two punch. It should be Brees Hall and, for the most part, Brees Hall only. They made the mistake of splitting too much last week, but I don't trust them. Rodgers goes rogue in the passing game. He checks out of the runs. C.J. Stroud and the boys. Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon goes off. Give me the Texans in a tight one. I'm taking Houston in a squeaker. Houston We're going to have ourselves a ball game, I think, on Halloween, Thursday night, Foopy. Okay. And I'm here for it. Yeller's got the Texans, and our guy Evans got the Texans as well. Blown Let's Peter. go. Lone Bugs over there. Evan Bugs. Howell with uh, Justin Jefferson and Randy Moss. I Ooh. love it. Fellow Vikings fan. They just traded for Cam Robinson. We're like all over the top there. You don't want to take. Yeah, let me let me get, get right get, next get to just, my buddy. Let me get next go. to my buddy right, right here. Get in the corner. Um, no, no, a I wanna, too close. we're gonna we're gonna, a little, we're gonna touch. We're gonna touch a little bit. Oh. Um, well, okay. All right. He won the week, Evan Hall, so he's here. Congrats, dude. Nice. Nice. Good Don't start no trouble. Sick. Don't start any trouble. Last week he got after uh, Ryan. Yeah, and you guys had some words for each other on Twitter today. We, it was we, pretty we cool. I did. love it. I love it. Uh, Sunday football. Ooh, Ooh Cowboys, Falcons, offensive battle. On Sunday, Matt Patricia, who you got? Ooh. I'm taking the Atlanta Falcons Atlanta. here. I think at home. I mean, I mean, Dallas is better on the road, but still Dallas is so <laughs> so terrible. I'm, just, I can, I'm looking at you through the screen. I'm just cracking Sorry. up. Is Micah Parsons going to be back or what? <laughs> Your chest is looking good, man. I've been hitting the weights. Uh, <laughs> I've been getting ready for Halloween. 
Uh, a little early. You've been prepping? Prepping, but uh, meal prepping Halloween style. But, yeah, I'm <laughs> taking the Falcons at home. What's your meal of choice on game day? On game day? Yeah. Uh, well, it's kind of different. Pre-game. Pre-game. Oh, pre-game. Yeah. I'm a I'm like a chips and salsa kind of guy, you know. Oh, I mean? pre-game? I thought you were going to be like a Camel's Chunky or something. Well, I mean, you're uh, coaching, so, like, you're <laughs> – Camel's chunky would have been. That's good. That's good. Uh, it's kind of hard to eat. The, did you say chips and salsa? Is yeah, yeah I'm a chips and salsa. Okay, well, yeah. I'm not really talking when you're on your couch getting ready for the game. I'm talking like you're coaching. You're getting ready. to. You're probably there. You know? Oh, gotcha. At the facility. 12-pack of Diet Cokes. I got two boxes of Mike and Ike's. I ripped a hole in the corner, so I'm drinking them. Just kind of trying to just go and be efficient here. Uh, and then just a bag of standard, just original Lay's. Okay. Hmm. That was a quick answer. That was good. Mm-hmm. Um all right. Carson's playing or what? I I like to think he'd come back this week, but we, it's up in the air right now. Mm. Give me the Falcons right now. He's taking the Falcons I'm right on the now. Fence with that one though. Yeah, this should be a good one. High scoring affair. Uh, both defenses a little sus, but I like both offenses. Felt like the Cowboys had something clicking at the end of that Niners game. C.D. Lamb was going bonkers. Dak was playing a little bit better. But the difference here is the Cowboys are a little one-dimensional. They rely on the passing game. The running game is pretty much non-existent. And the Cowboys also can't stop the run. The Falcons can beat you with the pass and with the run. Cowboys have the game plan for quite a bit here. Mike Zimmer versus Kirk Cousins. Oh, gimme. Kirk Cousins. Oh, I like that. In this one. I, like I actually that. did the run game of the Falcons. You like that? You like that? The run game of the Falcons is... Is what does it. I didn't, I, they're going to be so worried about the pass game. I think the pass game has some success. Run game. Bijan breaks off a, rips off a couple of them. Speaking of ripped. <laughs> Speaking of Bijan, do you like Dijon on your, on your, on your hot dogs? No, I just sip it. Just cold turkey. You know what I mean. Sip it. Yeah, I mean you can't take big gulps. You know what I mean. It's kind of thick. <laughs> 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 you guys, I'm trying try to keep a straight face here. Uh, on your hot dogs, <laughs> not out of the bottle. No, I said no. I like it out of the bottle, not on the hot dogs. Oh, I didn't catch that part. Oh, I'm so confused oh right God. now. You drink the. You drink the. <laughs> you drink. He's drinking. We're moving on. We're oh. moving on. Uh, uh, everyone's got the Falcons. Everybody's feeling confident. I thought somebody would go Cowboys. I'm thinking about it still. I'm, I don't know. Is that too bold here to be a lone dog on the first two? Might be. That's spicy. That's Halloween. I don't know. No, Thursday's Halloween. That's why that Yeah, one's... yeah, but it's, that's all Halloween. That it's Halloween all right now? Yeah, it's, Hall- it's Halloween pickums. Pete bum, hasn't bum, taken bum, that bum. outfit out off all week. Nope. He's going to keep it on. Yep. Playing basketball tomorrow morning. I'm just going to play in this. With the, with the ears and everything. Yeah. If someone hits your ears, it's a foul. Yeah. Foul. Foul. And one. <laughs> it's part of my body. Oh, Dolphins to his back. Offense is... Getting going. Not sure how they blew the last game against the Cardinals versus the Bills. Bills are hot. They're so hot right now, and the Dolphins just cannot seem to beat the Bills, and it's in Buffalo. Uh, you pretty much can't go against the Bills here. Can't. Like Even if you think the Dolphins are going to win, you're like, I can't do it. I have to pick the Bills. So mm-hmm. uh, go. I'm going to go with the Bills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, We made the mistake Patricia. going with the Dolphins mm-hmm. earlier in the year. We did. Yeah. We're going with the Bills at home. Uh, yeah, Yeller took uh, the Bills by himself that time around. So Smart guy. He's going with the Bills again. He's, He's in not last g- place. Yeah. It, Evan is taking the Bills as well. Everybody for the Bills. Clean sweeps. This guy's really concerned about the compensation. He's over all here. in on this compensation. I found the compensation, folks. The compensation is here. It's a pick swap. Get Cam Robinson and a seventh round pick. That could go away. But wait. Yeah. Playing time, and the Jaguars get a conditional 2026 fifth that can become a fourth. It's oh. a pretty, pretty good deal, but still a rental. Oh. Okay. Breaking news here. Breaking news: Cam Robinson, the Vikings, for whatever the hell I just said, it's a, it's pretty much a seventh for a seven for a five swap. Could be a fourth. Could be a fourth. I'd imagine he plays the rest of the year unless he's hurt. So if he doesn't get hurt, it's he's probably going to be a fourth. He was hurt. He does get hurt, but I don't know. 
so everybody for the Bills, the only different pick we have so far is Pete going Halloween style with the Jets Ooh. going spooky style. Oh, we got a treat for you guys. Not with this game. I'm going Bengals. But we got a treat for you guys at the end, kind of an, al an alternative treats? to Pete's buy team of the week. Treats so stay like tuned treats. for that. But <laughs> Bengals. Uh, <laughs> the Kirico, bro. <laughs> Uh, Where was that hidden? That was just hidden. Yeah, I just had it, you know. It's got, the color, gotta, same color yeah, as the Bengals. Yeah, That's who you're going with. Have, yeah, I'm going with the Bengals here. I gotta have a little snack with me at all times. I mean, the Bengals know? haven't beat a good team, but the Raiders aren't that good. The Raiders can play them close, but the Bengals are just better. Their defense is sus, but the offense will get going enough, and they'll win the football game. Taking the Bengals too. He, he's, everyone's taking everyone. the Bengals. Oh man, give us the Bengals. I'm still really confused about you drinking. Mustard? Yeah. Is that what that was? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, we're moving on. We already moved past it. Uh, Evan had the Bengals right. We established that. What are supposed to do with this here? You're supposed to eat it. Put and it away. What's it's up, got Doc? A, it's got a... Ooh. Ooh. Chargers, Browns, the Browns. Ladies and gentlemen, are have frisky. life. They oh. are frisky. Jameis Winston, Cedric Tillman. Times are changing. The defense can play. Might have a defensive game, but... Do, do the Browns keep rolling? Yes, they do. Oh. Yes, they do. Give me the Browns. Wow. Jameis and the Browns, baby. Ravens defense is sus. Browns kind of got away with some dropped interceptions. Chargers defense is balling this year. And Herbert, Lad McConkey. Lad McConkey. Start. That is Lad with two Ds, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going with the Chargers against the Browns. Let's get. Let's pump the brakes a little bit yeah. on Winston and the Browns. You know, I love to see it, but come on now, folks. Yeah, I was I was tempted here. They're at home again. It's a close line, but I'm not I'm not gonna buy into it yet. We'll see. You. He's I'll not buying do. into it yet. Uh, everyone's got everyone's bolting up here. Give them Chargers. Lone dogging it on the Lone on the dog. Fat ass Patricia. Hey, I'm right here. I mean, again, the pecs are looking good. You've been hitting the gym really hard. Yeah. Really my, my, main, my main man, Jamie, works at the McDonald's drive-thru down the street. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> and apparently you're drinking the mustard. I don't know. <laughs> Why are we back there? I have just – it was like a dead serious answer, so I'm a little concerned. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, I mean, Patricia, you're, you are got to be doing it. Is Levis playing, Pete? I don't know. It's, I, don't, I have no Ooh, idea. That's a deciding factor for me, if too. If Levis plays, I'm taking the Titans. Let's go. For Pete and only for I, me. I'm, not even, I'm a Volunteers fan. I think he's going to play, but I don't, I'm not the injury expert, so I think he's going to play. And, so, and that, for that reason, you're so going with the Patriots. You're wearing a Patriots shirt, Yep. <laughs> and you're taking the Titans, and yep. you're Matt Patricia. Correct. And you're taking the Titans. What? Right, but, I thought for sure. But you need to let me know uh, if Levis is playing. All right, Pete. God, the Titans are so bad. You're like, not a Titans fan anymore, though, so you, you don't feel like you have did to. You, did you guys see the? Uh, I was like, I said, oh, I sent it to you. I sent, I sent it to uh, our uh, our Beef Shack, our Beef Shack group. Beef Shack. I was like, it all makes sense now. Uh, remember the Colts against the Patriots? You remember? You were there. I was there. Remember? Remember? Uh, <clears throat> they ran that fourth down. They had their special teams out there, and they like. It was a center and a guy under center, and like everyone else was spread out. Yep. And they snapped the ball to the guy, and he just got he got tackled by like three people. Mm -hmm. The guy who the guy who got the snap was Cole Anderson. He's our special oh, teams coordinator. Oh, it all makes sense. It does. It all makes sense why the special teams is a disaster. So what are you doing? I don't know. They got to stop turning the ball over. Special teams are just terrible. Uh, but I'm gonna go with them at home. I don't know. They had two tough games in a row with the Bills and the Lions. Going against the Patriots, coming off a W, I think they're gonna good to great. get their second W of the year. Good to great, good to great. Yeller, Titans. He said he was never taking the Titans again. I know. I said I Evan, was. Titans. All right, I think Will Levis is playing in this game, so I have to monitor that. But for, so for that reason, for that reason, I, I will be taking the Patriots. No, it's not. It's not like that. It's not like Will was Levis. Mason Rudolph that good last. Let me get. Let me make the point. Okay, let me make the point. <laughs> It's not, all right, Will Levis stinks, I'm taking the Patriots. Not what it is, not what it is, okay? Mason Rudolph wasn't that great, like you said. But, you know who was great? Calvin Ridley, awesome in that game. But that was with Mason Rudolph. There was some sort of connection that game. So if you throw Will Levis, who's been struggling in there, 
I don't know if Calvin really does that. I don't know if he does that, and they need that in this game, right? I do think they can run the ball pretty well. What else does Levis do? He turns the ball over. And the Titans at this point, they're selling, right? They're, they're right, are they making a push for the playoffs right, right. now? I'm not saying, right, right. I'm not right. saying, will, you know, are they, is that their main focus? Just make the playoffs. No. no, right? So I think they're going to try out Will Levis if he's in there. They're going to have him throw the ball, and he'll turn it over a little bit. It's probably – May was looking good, but it's probably going to be Brissett. Brissett doesn't do much. He won the game last week. Doesn't do much. Doesn't make big plays, but he doesn't turn the ball over very much. So that will be the difference in this one, the turnovers. Also – Patriots could return one. They can take one back, a punt return, kick return. The Titans special teams might be the worst I've ever seen. So I'm going to actually go turnovers, special teams, two things, siding towards the Patriots. I think it's a pretty good pick, but Vegas seems to disagree. The Titans are favored by a whop- – uh, to me it's whopping three and a half. So something. I could be wrong. I'm a lone Patriots. I was lone Patriots once before this year, but I did switch because they left for London way too late, so they didn't count. I did lose one lone – the Giants. I lost the Giants against the Eagles. What a dumbass pick. Stupid <laughs> idiot. But I am pretty good with the Lone Wolves, the Lone Stitch picks. Uh, well, I'm stitch. 0-0 Lone Stitch. We'll have to look at the Halloween video last year see if I went Lone Stitch at all because uh, I wore the same costume. I couldn't even buy a new one. It just was too late. I don't know what the hell I was. It's just stupid idiot. Um, <laughs> Commanders, oh, oh. Giants, the throwbacks, the throwbacks. Raise your hand if you think the throwbacks are better. Well, at least the throwback logo is better than the current uniforms. Yeah, I think for the Jags that applies to who else? Maybe the the Falcons. The Falcons. I'm all way up here. I'm cut off. Falcons are way better. What about the throwbacks. Oilers? The Oilers. Uh, they they're both they pretty good. They haven't worn them yet. They're like they're like we don't even deserve to wear them. We don't deserve to wear them. We stink. Um, fun fact. Uh, last time these two teams played. A few weeks ago now, it was more. It was early in the season. It was a battle, ladies and gentlemen. It came down to the wire, and the commanders squeaked it out. The Giants had it. They had it. And I tell you what, they would have had it. They would have won if they had an active kicker. They didn't have it. Graham Gano got hurt. He was out with the groin. Was it a groin? I can't remember. I just wanted to say that. Um, Jordan Jordan Love's out with a groin. Pre-game. We don't know if he's out. but He's going to be out. You think so? I think so. Um. Gano got hurt pregame, so the Giants didn't have a kicker. They had to go for it. Every two-point conversion, they didn't get. Every field goal, they had to go for it. At the end, they dropped the fourth down conversion. The Giants would have won that game if they had a kicker in there. So this time around, they can they have a kicker. They can go and pull it off. Let me, it but let me tell you something. The Commanders are a far better team than they were the last time they played the Giants, and they still won that game. The defense is a lot better. But... Yeah, I don't know how that game ended last week. How, you know, sometimes when you win in an emotional way, sorry, Junior, I have to bring it up. That's probably not the first time we're going to we talk about it. But uh, sometimes where teams win in, win in an emotional way, they, they they don't play too hot the next week. So that's interesting. But the defense has gotten a lot better. They, the team's gotten a lot better. Commanders win. Taking the Commanders as well. I went I, on pretty long I with that one. I got nothing nice to say about the Commanders. Nothing nice or mean. There's nothing to say about him. Give me the Manders as well. That was just a bizarre game from start to finish. People yeah. are talking about that last play. That was a bizarre game from start to finish. What a battle! The first and second overall picks, quarterbacks. It looked like it was going to be an ass kicking, but the Commanders couldn't get in the end zone. I've seen a 12 man slash false start call that I've never seen in my life, and I'm still pretty sure they botched it. Um, just uh, we saw a handoff just to the a, backup center, just and a he lot fumbled of- it. We saw Ertz score a touchdown, and I still I, he had two feet down, then fell on the ground, and he was holding on the ball, and then laying Just down, of, and then knocked it a out. A lot of botching. I don't know. It was a, a lot, lot of botching. A lot of botching on both so- three sides: the refs, we, the we commanders, past, and the Bears. We skip past this with the Falcons. We skip past that. Oh, the pits. Oh my God! You're telling me they didn't have a pylon cam? Like nope. It was, it was, no, no. No pylon. No, nothing available. Sorry, we didn't have it. No, just some guy. Video- Somebody put some tape over it. Some guy videotaping on the sidelines. There's a ladybug on our light, and it's freaking driving me nuts. Uh, everyone's got the commies over here. Whoa. Better watch that language. What? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, man. Seriously. Everybody? Everybody. Everybody. I can see I the can Giants. See it, I can see it. Uh, commander's trying to just get over that. Stinker. stinker. Yeah, Giants being a stinker. It's like it's like uh it's like the Ravens Browns last week. This could be like the Ravens Browns divisional game. Yeah, in New York, New York, New York. 
Ooh, Saints, Panthers. Saints got a win against the Panthers already. They only have two wins. People Is the, Carr going to be back? Or? It sounds like he's going to oh. be back. Oh. Well, I picked Carolina oh. last time they matched. No car. I'm, yeah, I'm taking the no Saints. No car. Taking the Saints. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, give me the Saints as well. Oh, when the Saints I thought, go marching I thought, in. Uh, yeah. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. I'm going to pick. Derek Carr, Jake Hayner. Jake Hayner looked solid, honestly. I, I mean, the Panthers are having a fire sale. It feels like Deontay Johnson gone for a bag of for, chips. For and, nothing, yeah. Uh, to move up 15 spots in the draft. <laughs> from an from a early six to a – might be generous. Well, the compensatory picks. Early yeah. six to a late fifth. Yeah, that's – For your bonkers. best receiver. I don't know who's playing a quarter. The Saints are going to win. Kamara goes wild. Saints win. The spread's a little big, though. Seven-point spread. That might be a little large, but they did shellac them last time. They gave them a good old snap pounding. So, maybe the think, Saints get back. What do you think on, the Panthers will do if they get the first pick? Taking a quarterback. But you're asking me which one? Is that what you're asking? No, I'm just curious to see if – Taking a quarterback. Or, uh, they're just done with Bryce Young already. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, they're taking – it's going to be Sanders, Beck. Everyone's got the Saints, by the way. Or every Beck. Do st- you think Carson Beck's still going early? Yeah, I, the league likes him more. I know for a fact that the these, league likes these, him more than – These quarterbacks in this draft, they're scaring me. Ward's clutch. He's a winner. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling very confident about well, it. Well, Nussmeier was looking good to that second half. I think we might have to uh, – We, what am I talking about we? Like, I'm, I'm a Lions fan. Like, we're, we're going all the you way. You guys are fine. <laughs> going all the way. Everybody Saints. Evan Saints. Wow. Wow. Yeah. The Panthers are the worst team in the league. And then the Titans are second. They're right there. They're like they're pretty close. That's what the power rankings say. The they're official power rankings of the Goat House are the official power rankings of the land. Ooh, Broncos are hot. They're playing good on both sides of the ball now. Bo Nix starting to heat up. Let me tell you something, too. Russell Wilson looks pretty good right now and he looked god awful on the Broncos. So the fact that Bo Nix is looking pretty decent on the Broncos right now is saying something, folks. Uh and then the Ravens dropped one last week against the Browns. The defense is sus. They added Deontay Johnson. Will he play this week? They finally are serious about the receiver position. That should be pretty yeah, fun, safe. Flop. I mean, fun. Bateman took one right off his hand slash face, and, he, and it was a liner, and he dropped. He blamed it on the sun. So, um, yeah, that they were like, yep, yeah, call him up. The Panthers call him up. I don't know what I just watched. Did you see we, that route that uh, Zay Flowers ran? On Dental Ward, you see that? Uh, is that when he was like got wide open, but then yeah. uh, Lamar missed him? He ran like a, it was like it was like a, it was like a curl and go, curl and go. Like he ran, he like ran like a deep curl, and then went deep, and then he five yards later he stopped again, and then he went deep. It was like everyone was like, oh, what a route! I was like, no, yeah, it's, it's not really not, a smart route. It's not realistic, right Even there. Even if he gets open. Um, the disrespect on the Broncos. They are underdogs. Did you guys see the line? Take a guess. Oh. It, take a guess. It Ravens might, favored by it's six and a half. It's now I'm drawing a blank. It's either eight and a half or nine and a half. Oh, I think wow. it's nine and a half. I think it's too much. So a little disrespect there on the Broncos. But I am gonna take the Ravens in Baltimore different different when they're home. Right. But I could see an ass beating, but I'm not going to predict it. But I'll take the Ravens here. Derrick Henry performs pretty well in this one. They didn't, King. They didn't give him the ball enough. Patricia, how you doing? Good. Good. Uh, they didn't give him the ball enough. Every time they lose, it's because they didn't give him the ball enough. I, yeah. I, I think maybe, maybe they'll figure this out. Maybe Munkin will figure it out over there. Give me the Ravens at home. Feed the King. Taking the Ravens at home as well. Feed the King, right? Feed them, Patricia. Yeah, I mean, hey. Are you hungry? What does that mean? I bet you you ready. You ready for our bye weeks? I, I keep looking at it over there. Yeah, yeah, it's up on that monitor. It's up on there. Yeah, you just keep staring. You, you, you getting that's, hungry? That's why he's quiet over there. He's zoned out. He's yeah, staring at licking like, your lips, licking your chops. Uh, yellow. Everyone, everyone's got the Ravens. Everybody, here. my God. We got some sweeps here. We do have some lone dogs in there, though. It'll make it interesting. Yeah, what about them more. Ooh. No. Oh, we might actually. I had yeah, a lone yeah, wolf. We might. I had a lone Stitcher on the patch. Junior had a lone uh, Patricia. Browner. On the, the Browns Titans and the Titans. No, I'm with you on the Titans. Everybody, I was oh, by myself oh, on the Patriots. You got the Patriots. Oh, that's right. Come on, you Sorry. got the Patriots. You didn't even shirt take on. the Patriots. You bought a Patriots shirt just for this episode. I didn't buy this. This came with my team yeah. merch when I was coaching. True. Uh, oh, oh, all right. Get us over there. Get us over there. Yep. They're wearing the Kelly Greens, the throwbacks, some clean ass uniforms, folks. <laughs> 
Absolute heat. Heat. Fire. Jags lit. are lit. So lit. So um, lit. I'm going to lock this in as my snot pounding of the week. The you Eagles know, are heating up. Know, They're getting back on track. The Jalen, Jags are hurt. Oh, Kirk's no, out for hurts. the year. Speaking of hurts, Jalen Hurts is going to look so good in those. Oh, so, so good. So good. So good. Um, Christian Kirk out for the year. Brian Tom- Thomas a little banged up. They're going to have to ask a lot out of Gabe Davis. That's that's a little tough. That's, He's a little banged up, too. That is, uh, um, ETN banged task. up. They just traded Cam Robinson. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They run a lot of man coverage. You know, A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, they're going to torch that up. But Barkley can do his thing. The receivers mainly, you know, the Eagles defense playing very well. Playing. This might be a snot pounder. That's why I just said that with those uniforms on, are you kidding me? Definitely are you kidding me? Pounding. Definitely. Snot pounding of the week. All right, we're done with that one pretty quick. But <laughs> got to appreciate the logo and the, and the uniforms mm. and graphics that guy. color. Graphics guy just putting in work this year. He did – He's he's been up in his stock with all the ed- edits and the graphic changes for all the videos, but he saved over graphics that were pre-made for today's trade video. So uh, I had to do them all again. So he kind of went down. His stock went down a little mm-hmm. bit, but he's been doing all right. Yeah, he got his. He, he won it back with that. He fixed the Eagles retro last year. It was looking a little sauce, I thought. Um, clean, clean stuff there. Clean shorts. Uh, oh. oh. Bears. This is probably the toughest one to pick. Maybe the Patriots, Titans are up there. Bears, Cardinals. The Bears have been playing better football recently and had that one last week, but they let it slip away on a insane ending. Hail Mary. But it was like we talked about a little bit. It was a bizarre game from start to finish. Like the Bears could have got their asses kicked, but the defense kept them in it. I mean, the commanders were moving down the field, but then they would stop them in the red zone. The Bears' offense was non existent until the fourth quarter. Cardinals, the, 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 the knock on them was they couldn't get anything consistent together, but they just won two straight. They beat the Chargers and the two of Dolphins. The offense looked awesome at the end of that game, but they are playing maybe the top defense in football in the Chicago Bears. So will that offense look the same? Let's we'll start with Junior. He's a Bears guy, but I don't know how he's feeling after last week. How That's a big thing for me. How does this? How do these guys respond to mm-hmm. losing off a of Hill Mary? Are they down from it? Are they hating on each other? Are they pumped up, angry, ready to get that win that they feel like they deserve. I think they're angry. Okay. Definitely angry. I'm taking the Bears. Called Dan, spoke with them today. Oh, you talked to him. He's you taking to the Bears. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that was a uh, questionable. I mean, let's be honest. The Did Bears, you were you kind of celebrating before that? Were you like, yes? No, no, no. I said, I said this would be a Bears way. I, I was already getting ready for the field goal to send it into OT. Okay. That's what I was getting ready for. I wasn't ready for that. Okay. Um, How were you feeling about OT? I was gonna. I was like, this is a Bears way to lose. And at the end of the day, forget the Hail Mary. The Bears didn't deserve to win that game. That's what Dan, I actually did talk to Dan. Dan texted a different group they were in. Is that that was the most deservable loss? Yeah. Of all, even though they had it, but yeah, it was a bizarre. I, like I said, people talk about the Hail Mary. I thought it was a weird game from start to finish. Um, it's a different matchup, though. Different matchup. I'm having a hard time with this one because I do think the matchup might favor the Bears in a way because they play great defense, and the Cardinals sometimes go a little stale on offense, and they could very well against that Bears defense, and it feels like everybody can score on the Cardinals. I know the Bears are having some offensive struggles here and there um, you know, against some better teams, and especially away. Can I make a pick? Um, so that's why it's tough. Okay, yeah. Go Give ahead. The Bears. He's taking uh, the Bears. I think they, yeah, I think they bounce back. In this one, I think they. I mean, I thought they did a really nice job containing Jaden Daniels. Like he did, he did use his legs at times, uh, but they did a pretty good job containing him. I think they'll have a similar game plan with Kyler Murray. Um, you know, not letting him get outside the pocket this as much. Is this is tough. Um, yeah, and I think I think the Bears' offense will get a little bit back on track here. Yeah, like everything you said, everything I said, the matchup favors the Bears. Like they had, they can win with defense and the offense. Everybody moves the ball in the Cardinals. My issue is why it's a little tough to pick the Bears is they're not playing good away. I mean, they were close to having the Commanders, but majority of that game they did not play good. They're struggling away, especially on offense and defense. I can't really say struggling, but uh, and they haven't really beaten, even though they're very close, beaten good teams. So can they do it? Can they bounce? Oh, this is tough. I think the Cardinals uh, – I think this is a good time for the Bears to play the Cardinals. They can't really stay consistent, but they won two in a row. Can they really, really win three in a row? Can they really do it? Can they really, really do, do it? Really? Uh, Bears got to show me they can play 
better away on offense and beat good teams. I'm going to take the Cardinals for now, but that's a tough one. Yeller's taking the Cardinals Oh, as well. that's not really a surprise. Uh, I'm, I'm still Evan, on. The Vikings guy taking the Bears. Wow. Thank I'm you. still on the fence with that one. I need to know if Brisker's been really – I mean, that's that's not the difference, though. The defense is good enough. But Brisker's been really good for them, and he's been out. Kyler Gordon was out last time. Any word on those guys yet? Um, I mean, I would assume Brisker plays. You think least, so? Yeah. Mm, if both those guys play, that defense is going to cause Tark problems. Is Stevenson starting, is, or is he uh, – He's got to start. Uh, he's got to shut his mouth. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know what really bothers me? You don't really grind your gears. Yeah, you know what really got me? What got me was that they didn't uh, give you any post game snacks. Well, that, but also that, like, <laughs> in what world is attempting to throw the ball eight times and a half going to is a winning formula? Hey, yeah. uh, like the, that's not the, a winning Titans, formula. But the run was working. The Titans they not played really. my they played my Lions and um, they had first and goal on the one yard line and they threw the ball out of shotgun four plays in a row and didn't score. That's nice. Tanking for two, man. You should have you should have handed it off to the backup center. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good play. Call. In crunch time. In crunch time. You need a touchdown to take the lead. Let's hand it. Hey, you great, know what? You know great what? Great call. I'm still thinking about this one because another factor is the Cardinals' pass rush is non-existent, and then when Caleb Williams does struggle, it's when he's on under pressure. But the Bears' offensive line got a little beat up last game. How's Braxton Jones playing? I need to know these things. I could very well go with the Bears. My score predictions in picks against spread next video. We'll see what I have there. Um, right now I'm leaning Cardinals because it's just a team that can't really play well on offense away and can't beat solid teams even though they were very close to beating one. It's tough to pick those teams until they prove it, you know. So I'm kind of on both sides here. I do think the matchup favors the Bears, but I also said that against the Colts and somehow they didn't beat the Colts. But it's a different league now. It's a few weeks later here, uh, a little more than a few weeks later. But Dan did pick the Bears, in case you guys didn't see. Uh, okay. Ooh. Oh, my team. Lions, Packers, NFC North battle, top me, teams me, in the NFL. He's taking his team. Let's go. His team, uh, the Lions. Anything to say about it? Is Jordan Good. Love playing? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's I thought he was probably going to play, but you're saying no. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I'm taking the Lions with or without Jordan Love. Ooh. But, okay. But uh, well, I, yeah, I already made my pick. Lions so are I, just. I'm already, I already know who I'm picking. But, Lions are just hot right now. But it's like Jordan Love clearly is not okay, even from the knee thing. He lands weird. He starts hobbling. Like he, I think that the the Lions are going to get after him a little bit. Was Yeller going with? Yeller has the. Detroit Lions. Evans got the Detroit Lions. Mm, yeah, so I saw this game coming up on the schedule a couple weeks ago, and I'm I'm like I'm I know everyone's gonna pick the Lions in that game, and I am taking the Packers. The Packers are going to win that game. A different team at home. Lions don't have that pass rush without Hutchinson. Packers have that offense, stout offensive line. They got weapons. They can make plays. They could push the ball on the Lions, but. Last week, what happened? Love got beat up, and I'm gonna guess he plays this week. But I really, I'm not the injury expert. Expert. He avoided a serious groin injury, but it doesn't mean he's gonna play. And they, they've won games with Malik Willis. I definitely don't think they beat the Lions with Malik Willis. But I'm gonna say Love plays. I don't think he's 100. percent But another big factor we got to monitor is Jair Alexander. He got hurt at the end of the last game. He avoided major injury, but does he play? He's missed time this year. Take a look this year with the Packers uh, defense, excuse me, with and without Alexander, an absurd difference. So I was planning on taking the Packers, and I was very, very, very confident, believe it or not, even though I think the Lions are the best team in football this year, I was very confident the Packers, but with two star key players, even if playing, if both are playing and they feel good about it, then i got to reconsider, but... I got to take the Lions. I got to take the Lions with that. Um, if Love and Alexander are fully healthy, I was playing. I was taking the Packers in Lambeau. And I I could still – if Love plays, Alexander doesn't, I could still see the Packers winning this game. The, the Lions, I worry about. The, I think the Packers might be a little more complete. Lions have a better offense right now. But I sometimes you worry about the Lions' defense. And the Titans were moving the ball on them, kind of making explosive plays on them. But that didn't last too long. But um, – Without Hutchinson, I should say, you know, you worry a little bit about the Lions' defense, and that's how they are. So I could 
totally see the Packers winning again. I planned on taking them for weeks, and I was really confident about it. But So it could backfire on me right now. I don't know if you call this a switch because they're beat up. That's the reason I'm going with the Lions. Not that the Lions need the Packers to be beat up. They're very capable of beating anybody. They feel like the best team in football right now. I have them number one in the power rankings. So, uh, But for right now, we got to go with Detroit. Nobody taking the Packers. I can definitely see that backfiring on us right there. I can totally see it. Totally nope. see it. Nope. No. Nope. Never. Okay. I'm still. Uh, We're guaranteed. A guaranteed. guaranteed okay. Picks. All right. Hundred percent. Ooh, this could be an interesting one. Rams mm-hmm. and Seahawks. The Rams stepped it up a little bit last week as they got their guys back. Puka Cup. We'll combine them. Puka, Puka Cup. Cup. Uh, and then the Seattle Seahawks looked pretty good against the Falcons two weeks ago. They couldn't do anything against the Bills last week. Couldn't do anything. Uh, but. You got two defenses that are struggling, but sometimes the Seahawks defense looks pretty decent. Sometimes. But you got two explosive offenses here that could take advantage of the opposing defenses not being the greatest in the land. So uh, in Seattle, could go either way. I'm trying to figure out. The officiating was so bad last week across the NFL. I was almost thinking, like, yeah, what's what's their who motive? What's their motive this week? It, it makes we do this me every that, year. We do this every year. Yeah, yeah what, who, was, who are they picking this but, week? Who, who are they, they picking? picking? The Rams, and we got some help with the officials last week, but it, the whole world know, knew they screwed up that last call. So sometimes the NFL operates in weird ways. Do they get some calls against them because that was so blatant last week? So does it help us? Do they do that? I don't, I'm not saying they will or they won't. I don't know. So I could, I could see it. So that could actually help the Seahawks out. But uh, I am who I think the better team is right now, especially as they're getting healthier, is the Rams. I trust them. I, I know their offense will perform. The Seahawks, you don't really know. I think their offense will do some damage. But you don't really know. A little bit of damage. I will take – I'm a little more confident with the Rams that got going last week. Uh, yeah, go with the L.A. there. But I'm taking the Rams, too, on the road. Uh, kind of what you're saying, I trust uh, full-strength Rams offense just a little just a little more. A little bit. I don't know if uh, – is D.K. going to be out? Probably. I think he'll play. He'll play. I'm keep Ooh. saying I think everyone will play. Man, but. that's a tough one. Yeah, if DK's in there, I mean, those could those corners hold up with all those receivers? I could see the Seahawks, but yeah, I, don't I don't trust their defense right now. Yeah. They look so bad against – I know the Bills yeah, the are better Seahawks, than the Rams, but – I think the Rams are going to get going here. I mean, they're, they're, they're a pretty good team, very well coached. Uh, Stafford needed his guys. His guys are back better than ever. They're very Cup, well-versed. Cup was – yeah, very well-versed. Jared Verse. Cup didn't do that much. Yeah, Jared Verse coming alive a little bit. Um, against Questenberry. Yeah. But, yeah, Puka on a snap, on a limited snap count. I mean, he played most of the game, but still, it just went bonkers. Does everybody have the How do you go in the fifth round? I don't know. I, I don't, it's a good just question. Just make these plays. Like, he catches, catches that one on the sideline where he's, like, he's dragging his feet somehow and has control. Like, I don't, I don't know how he does it. Don't know how he does it. What's everyone going with here? Everyone's got the Rams. Wow. I consider the Seahawks. This is one of the tougher ones of the week. It's a lot of guarantees here. Evan Howell, big Vikings guy, going with the Rams. Even even though we're a little salty, us Vikings guys, about that game last week, it was a lot of a lot of nonsense. But the Rams showed up. Their guys are back, and I, I want to play them full strength, you know. And we couldn't beat them, so I, you know, I'm still a little pissed about a lot of those calls. But Spe- speaking speaking of the Vikings, oh, Sunday flexed Ooh. and. Flexed into Sunday. Sunday flex football. Joe Ooh. Flacco. Anthony Richardson has been benched. I am pissed as a Vikings fan here. <laughs> hey, welcome. Welcome, though. If they played Richardson, lock. It was 100% lock because the Vikings defense, Flores' defense, is super confusing to those inexperienced quarterbacks. See Brock Purdy. He even said it, C.J. Stroud, even good, inexperienced quarterbacks. But the veterans, Goff and Stafford, are too smart. They pick it apart. So Richardson would have had a hard time, and, of course, the Vikings would be able to score on the Colts' defense. So it would have been a beautiful matchup at home on Sunday Night Football for the Vikings, and I would have guaranteed a win. But it He's is – blowing the horn, though. That's it is. That's a good question. Uh, look it up. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you can find it. But <laughs> Joe Flacco, even though he doesn't, he's not quite as good, doesn't have – I mean, he still has that touch, but he doesn't have that touch that he used to. He, he don't still, have that touch. He still 
had, and he's played well when he's in, but he still has the brains that he's always had. He can read this defense. He can do some damage against a struggling defense. The Vikings aren't getting any pressure on quarterbacks right now, and the Colts have a good offensive line. The Colts will score points in this game, but the Vikings should score points this game. I got a good old-fashioned shootout on Sunday night football, and this will be the deciding factor right here. The and I don't know if the NFL operate. I've seen them operate this way before. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. It's going to sound bogus, but it's happened. The whole world knows the Vikings got screwed at least at the end of that last game. So I think they're going to get some makeup calls, which is bullshit against the Colts because it's not the Colts' problem that they did that. So I will take the Vikings in a shootout. But I can totally see Joe Flacco beating him. I was tempted. I was actually. I could see it. I can see the Colts beating the Vikings. I can see it all day. Not with Anthony Richardson, but Joe Flacco, who's going to be the quarterback. This would be a good upset pick if anybody wants to do it. It would be a good one. Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm taking the Vikings at home. Um, yeah, no, I think that – I don't think this is going to be as close as you think it is. No? I don't think so. I don't think the defense can stop them. Colts have been playing teams tight. I think it will be a good game. I think it's going to be close. They flex it to Sunday night for a reason. Mm-hmm. Vikings stink in prime game. time. But the Vikings are home. I'm going to go with the Vikings bouncing back. They get some calls. You know, they're going to get some calls, though. Yeah, that's what I said. That's the reason I picked them. Give me the Vikings. And it's the Colts' fault that the Vikings got screwed by call. It's like it's absolute BS. I'm going to be mad. You know, we they, got, we're got we going to have no one on the Colts they, here because our, our last two pickers are Vikings guys no, that's, here. Yeah, we so. got, yeah, sorry, Colts fan. We got three. three. I considered – Picking you guys, but we got three Vikings fans picking here. We bleed blue. Uh, I could, I strongly consider. What, what can we talk about Anthony Richardson? He's tapping out. Tap it out. Yeah, I. And he said he was tired. Never says never. never seen, no quarterback never in the history that. of football, not in the NFL. Never seen it. Yeah, it's wild. I think that's he's more done. of a reason. I saw something he's, that he's know. the completion percentage thing. I think I brought this up again. They they brought. I saw someone bring it up again. He's like. He's down. He's way down there, like all-time completion percentage for a certain amount of certain amount of pass attempts. Um, he's one of the worst of all time. Like he's got a fifty. I think he's got a fifty, like a fifty uh, completion percentage hmm. in his career. I know he only, he's only so played. Crazy. He's only played like eleven games or so, but brutal. Colts brutal. fans are freaking out though. They want Richardson to play. I mean, well, I I get it though. Like you want to see what same he can thing. Do. I, I want Levis to play. Um, you know, I, just want I mean, to do you want to win this game or not? Because it's just that type of matchup. That's the, truth. That's, that's the thing, though. Titans are 1-6 and six right now. This the Colts, is such Colts a bad, are, bad matchup for Richardson that I, I could guarantee they wouldn't win with him. Yeah. Not, I'm not trying to knock Richardson. It's just I'm talking about the specific matchup. They could win the game with Joe Flacco. They can definitely win the game. But there you have it. Everybody, a lot of guarantees this week. Mm-hmm. And so we have a lot of lone dogs. Oh, that's what I was going to mention. Primetime Vikings I'm scared of. What Pete. What have I always said when everyone was bringing up Kirk Cousins' primetime record? I always said that it's, it's not, not a Kirk, Kirk thing. It's a Vikings thing. It's a Vikings thing. thing. As long as I can remember, the Vikings have struggled in primetime. And then what happens? Kirk leaves. He is dominated in primetime football. Threw for over 500 yards and won a clutch game against the Bucks a few weeks ago. Against. And the Vikings are only one in primetime. What were you going to say? I will say against the Bucks. Yeah. And then this weekend? Had to win it. They had, they had, the NFL they had to make sure they won again. Yeah. Still, I'm not letting that go. Bucks. 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 Poor Bucks. I feel bad for the Bucks. Monday night football. This is uh, you know the Bucks can score. Chiefs have been. I don't know. They're undefeated, and they're definitely good. They're deserving of being undefeated, but they haven't looked like perfect anywhere near perfect right now. And the Bucks can score, so that could present some problems. But it's a bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad matchup for the Bucks because, yeah, they can score. The best part about the Chiefs is the defense. The Bucks also don't have Godwin or Mike Evans. That's going to be some problems. And the Bucks' pass defense is horrendous. It's so bad, and the Chiefs can throw the ball, and they'll be able to throw the ball better than they have all year. It's a perfect matchup to get that offense going. Mahomes going even more. D-hop. D Hop gets going. He finds the end zone in this one. Book it. Chiefs win in a perfect matchup for them on Monday Night Football. It's you know yeah. what the Bucks need. They need Trey Palmer to wake up. He is yeah pissed off. Every start of the whole oh, thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Where you would tweet, you tweet. I woke up pissed off, and then he would just go off and every time Baker he tweeted. Baker needs to wake up feeling dangerous. Yeah, mm-hmm. that that's what they need. They need Baker feeling dangerous. 
Palmer waking up pissed off. And then they might win on the Monday night game, but I'm picking the Chiefs at home. He's picking the Chiefs at home. Everyone's, Every picking, everyone's picking the Chiefs at home. That was a lot of guarantees, but some lone wolfers. Now we get to the best Evan, part of the – Evan Hall did a great job last week. He's here picking this week. Episode. Next week, we'll, whoever wins the, the league, join it. Uh – Nice carrot, is, nice is carrot. We're not on, done, folks. Is this going to be on the – should put this on the – We are not done. So usually we do tier. Pete's buy tiers of the week, and we have something a little similar, but for Halloween, we're going to have a little fun here. There it is. Oh, the the green screen, boys. We can see. We can see through here. Uh, we have some tiers up there with Halloween candy, and I'm sorry if some of it's cut off a little bit, but this is kind of the best we could do right now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> sorry sorry, sorry if it's cut off. It's mainly – it's mainly uh, hey, this guy out hey. here <laughs> blocking hey, all of it. You're so fat. Good, I got some good width to me. Look at this. Yeah, that's some good girth, man. Uh, you're so fat that you're blocking all that. I think we should do this as a group here. I think we should just debate it's it. It's your thing, man. I mean, this, is a lot, this is a lot going on here, though. Uh, so we have you guys want to pick your buy team week, uh, teams of the week? The buy, the buy teams are on here, too. I know you can't really see it, but. Uh, drag they, them up there. Uh you want to do them first? Well, who okay, you guys, you guys usually the buy team first. of the week is the Niners. It's Niners and Steelers. It's the Niners because they're beat up and the Steelers are kind of rolling with Russ right now. So it's the, it's it's the Niners, yeah, right? It's yeah, the I'm Niners. It, I mean, yeah. Patricia fat ass agrees. So, uh, you want to put the the, yeah, buy? the Steelers are just decent at best. Like it's just it's just straight up. They're like, looking good right they are now. Looking good. I I said it last week. It's the perfect. It's like the perfect quarterback uh, OC marriage right there is Russell Wilson with Arthur Smith. You don't want to bump him up to Num Num? No. Maybe because <laughs> of maybe because of maybe because of Arthur. Because Arthur's my. You're guy. so fat, you don't even fit on the screen. I it's had to move in. I still cut, can't read it. It's it's cut off. The Niners. Let's put the Niners in Num Num because because you know I still have faith in Niners. I think. Oh, uh, I thought you were going to say that Brock Purdy was totally Num Num. Oh, I was gonna, I, you blew it already. I was going to say Nick Bosa was Num Num, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're, they're uh, they're they're gonna get going here. Like they, this is how they always start. They always start a little slow. You get a little. Beat how up. dare you compliment Nick Bosa? Yeah, the worst thing yeah. that ever happened to America. <laughs> is it what's what what hat do you have out right now? Is that a? This no, this is the Bulls hat. Oh, Chicago, the Bulls won. They were down twenty last yeah, night. They, they won. tied tied a franchise record for most. That's kind of bad though. Threes. They barely won, and they tied a. Bulls, they, the Chicago threes, they Bulls. Had to rip the threes. Yeah, but if if you if the Chicago Bulls franchise record of threes. Yeah, but they, they but they weren't shooting threes in the nineties when they were. You would think they would beat the team's the ass. Okay, I don't know how they beat the Bucks the other day too. I mean, mm -hmm. we might be Super Bowl. No, they always start like this. I'm too. kidding. They're off. So the Niners always start off bad, and then they just get hot and get going. This is where they're gonna heal up and get hot. So they're gonna move into that yummers category soon. Oh, here. should I do it? No, not right now. But like they're they're heating up. They're gonna get in there. Goated yummers. But the bulls. Num num. The bulls start in the yummers category, <laughs> and all, all of a sudden, they're after <laughs> 20 games in, they're in the poop category. Like they just take a <laughs> straight nose dive into the poop. Uh, so yeah, we have goated yummers. Num num. You should put the bulls up there. Just put them in the poop. I don't have a bulls uh, logo in there. Uh, decent at best. Damn graphics. I'll guy. eat the poop and poop. It's an anchor man right. reference. We're, so, we're starting with the, the hundred grand. It's just poop. It's like, <laughs> it's just, it's just like you open up the 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 wrapper and it's poop. It's just poop in a in a red wrapper. You won't even eat this poop. No, uh, you eat the poop. Yeah, I'd eat it. <laughs> I would eat it. Yeah, I'll eat the poop. I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest thing. I've ever. The, wor the worst part about hundred grand is I feel like uh, a so lot of times you open oh, it, it's stuck chair, to the wrapper. My chair went. <laughs> Uh, hundred grand, hundred grand. What's that song? Is that a Wiz Khalifa song? What does he say? Hundred bands. A, hundred bands. I was a big Three Musketeers guy, but are we the Three Musketeers? We are the Three Musketeers. Guys, but... bad news. We didn't win the sexiest podcasters. The Kelsey brothers won them. Oh, that's, Dang it. that's a bunch of baloney. BS. That's I mean, a bunch of malarkey. We got robbed, boys. Uh, Three Musketeers. Of, that's a bunch of Mike Malarkey. Uh, give me. I, you know, I thought. I thought it was decent at best, but I'm going to put it out. I'll eat the poop. I'll eat it. <laughs> it goes in that category, too. Is that Airheads? Airheads. Airheads are nice. Give me. Airheads suck. Give me. What? 
I, I don't like him. I don't know. No, uh, I gotta look at the rest of this. We gotta balance. I mean, no, no, good, no. That's cheating. The good thing about no, the good thing about the tiers is like you can always move them after. Like after you start going, you can move them around. Put them in the yummers category. Wow. I'm a big fan. Wow. High praise. Different flavors. I like the red. I like the blue. I like the white one. The mystery one. Those are those are quality. That's quality right what there. What do you think the mystery one is? I think it's like a poop. I think it's poop. No, I don't know. The hell's the next Ever, one? It might be like an apple. It might be like a green apple. Almond there. Joy? Almond Joy. That's spook. <laughs> like that's... Uh, you won't even eat the poop? That's like rabbit poop. Like it's uh, just rabbit poop. <laughs> okay. What's the next one? Uh Oh, what is that? Maybe okay. we're close. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Babe Ruth? I don't know what that is. Is that a Butterfingers? It's, no, it's not a It's butter. Baby Ruth. It's Baby Ruth. I think. I don't think I've ever had one. I know. I'm not a big fan of like some of these chocolate Did bars. You have you ever I had it? it? No, I never had it. Yeah, okay. I don't know. What is this? Butterfingers. There we go. Butterfingers is decent. Uh, it's decent at best. You know why? I would I would put it in the num num category, but it gets stuck in your teeth. Like that's oh, the yeah. only bad thing mm-hmm. about it. Like it tastes really good. Like it's it's a num num, but I'm gonna put it in the That's how I feel about Starburst, which are they even on here? Oh right man. Now? Yeah, they're right to my uh Okay, they're on here. Candy oh, cord. <laughs> Candy corn. What if you get candy corn for Halloween? Yeah, you, I'm throwing it it's, away. It's poop. It's poop. poop. Put it in the poop category. Crunch. Crunch. Crunch uh, you know, solid. I've been, I've been, yeah, I've been dissing the the candy bars. Let's put it in decent at best. Oh. The chocolate bars. Dots. Dots. Yeah. Uh, I'll eat the poop. You eat the yeah. poop. You eat it. Another one settle. where it's like too chewy, gets stuck in your teeth. Doesn't have the, mo- the most flavor either. Either it's like not even close to Airheads up there. Uh, what's next? I can't see what it is. I'm get- fun dip. Ooh. Ooh, fun dip is so underrated. Um, it's just messy though. That's the only thing with it. Like I think it's another one. Messy where at best. Like it, it's a num num one, but I think just because of all the the mess, the mess, I'm gonna put it in decent at best here. Okay. Oh, we got some gummies. gummy bears. Put them in the num num. Put them in the num num for the. Gummies mm-hmm. joining the Niners. Yeah, it's like it's not as good as the Airheads, but it's definitely better than the Dots in there. Heath, Heath, Heath Miller. Uh, yeah. I'll eat the poop. He'll eat it. I'll eat it. It's Hurst? good. It's good in stuff. Like when you break it up and put it in stuff, but like by itself, eh. Hershey squirts. Hershey's decent at best there. Oh, if, I thought you go better if, than that. If do we have a? Oh, if it was the almond one, if it was the Hershey with the almonds in it, like. But you got almond joy straight poop. But almond joy is like coconut. Is it? Yeah. I don't know if I've had it. Yeah, it's not good. What is this? Hot tamales. Hot tamales is poop. That gives me spicy diarrhea. Oh, jeez. High octane. Literal poop. Yeah. Uh, is it the jelly beans? Jelly beans is poop as well. <laughs> what there? Yeah. There's no, don't they make ones that like taste they're actually, like? They're actually poop. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Jolly Ranchers? Oh, Jollies are in the young. Oh, Jolly Jollies are in the goaded. Jollies oh, are in the goaded. Oh, we got to go the goaded. I mean, make sure you're on. playing along in the comments. Come on, people. I like how Pete's doing this, and we're not. Uh, yeah, you guys should be involved. In make this some too. Patricia. Make some comments. You are a yeah, snack. Yeah, you should be doing this. This, this should be your special. Be you don't. What about the Hershey? You don't make kisses? decisions. You just make some comments. When Hershey Pete's- kisses go in the decent at best as well. It's the same thing as Hershey's. Mm-hmm. They're just in little, 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 little bite side, bite size pieces there. Dude's Break right. me off a piece of that oh, football. First cream. chocolate bar. We're throwing it above decent at best. We're we're actually gonna. Go to Should Pete. we do it? Go I'm gonna to put it in the yummers here. I'm putting it in the yummers. Kit Kats are, they might be the best. They might be the best chocolate bar. What the hell it's, is this? That and something else that's coming up. What is that? It's like a SpongeBob. Oh no, that's it's a like crabby, the, yeah. It's a crabby. All right, all right, all right. It doesn't have to be the SpongeBob one. Just any of those where you make your own burger. You know, make, there's, a, there's there's more than just the SpongeBob. Where it's ones. like gummies, but it's a yeah, burger. Yeah, they're those really are, like cheap those gummies. Are, those are poop. Poop. Those are. Poop. You won't even eat the poop. Wow. Lifesavers. Lifesavers. Nice. I do like lifesavers. Those go in the num num right there. You know what? This is a this is gonna be a bold one here. These mint lifesavers are goaded. Oh those are goaded. They are. But I for have, Halloween. I have no. them, if I get these for Halloween, I'm like Oh, eh. I'm excited. I have okay. them I have them in my office. I have them in my cabinet in my office. They're ready ideas. ready to go. As, these, soon as, uh, as soon as I eat them all, I'm back at the store getting more of them because they're in they're they're always I'm always stocked with those. Goaded. 
What is this? Are those the Dum Dum Suckers? I can't really oh, those see. Are, those are pretty good. Depends on the flavor, though. That's the thing. Yeah, there's though. some that are poop, and there's some that are great. Give me, Put them in the Num Num there. Those are pretty good, though. We've got two different kinds oh, of M&Ms here. Oh, here we go. Peanut M&Ms are goaded. Yep. Oh, Throw yep. them up there. It's Patricia. One of Greece. the best. Yep. Normal M&Ms are just Num Num, though. Those num-num. are just Num Num, yeah. Mike and Ike's. Do the right thing, Pete. Junior's a huge Mike and I guy. Uh, yeah. I am not. I'm I, not yeah, I'm like going to put it in the num-num category. I'm oh, why? Wow. It's generous. I'm not that high on them, but they're, they're pretty good. Junior would go goaded, right? 100%. Holy it's your number one. It's wow. your go-to. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Milk duds. I'll eat the poop. Like It literally looks like poop, I'll, but I'll but eat you'll it. Eat, I'll eat it. What is that, Milky Way? Milky Way is another. I'll eat the poop. Like It, oh. it looks like poop, but I'll that, eat it there. I, hmm. uh, nerds. Nerds are num-num. Like, they they're, stink. Th- yeah, they're pretty good. Might be generous. Might be generous. Is that generous? I think so. Pretzels. Pretzels. I like. Go I'm, I'm a good fan. I'm a, I'm a fan I'm a of good pretzels. Fan. He's a good fan. I'm a good fan of pretzels. But, but Halloween candy. Halloween candy. Yeah, that's not good. That's, I think you go. You still eat I'll it because you poop. like pretzels. I'll, I'll yeah. pack it in my lunch right there. I'll just pack that one at the lunch. All right. Here we go. Reese's. There's Reese. two different Reese's. So identify. Get get identified here. Reese's are going in the yummers here. They're What's the difference pretty here? Pretty dang good. Is one of the pieces? Oh, the second one's the pieces? Yeah, the pieces. Yummers? Reese, yeah, Reese's pieces are going in the num-num, though. I'm, I'm a bigger fan of the, just the Reese's What the hell cup. is this? Uh, Looks like a ring pop. Ring pop? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. How is there no sour patch? There, there is they're sour coming. patch. Coming. Don't worry. Oh, am I covering it? Yeah, yeah you're, you're so it. fucking fat. That <laughs> hey. Ring pops are decent at best. I mean... They're good, but like it's annoying on the ring. Like you're gonna sit it, there just sucking on yeah, your finger. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Rolos, decent at best, was probably generous with those. Those, you think so? Yeah. I don't know. No, that's not poop though. Rolos are, roll. Rolos is another one where it's like good on. It's good on stuff, but it's not. So which one? Poop. Put it. It's. I'll eat the poop. Yeah, a lot. I wonder what's gonna win here. Yeah. <laughs> Skittles. Skittles. If it was sour Skittles. It'd be goaded, but I'm putting it in yummers. Here I think either skills. way you put it goaded, oh. I think you're wrong. I'm ending the video. I mean, <laughs> it's just also this. Oh, we got Smarties here. Ooh, that's, that's, a that's a good one. Sneaky good it's one. just just pure sugar right there. It's pure sugar and crack mixed together there. Uh, put it in. Ooh. Be careful because you just said crack, so you're not here to crack. No, I know. Put, put it, it in the num num there though. They're pretty good. I'm num-num's kidding winning. about. I'm kidding about the <clears throat> Snickers. Snickers. <clears throat> uh, overrated. It is overrated, 100. percent Put it, put in the decent at best. It's overrated. Sour Another patch. One. Sour patch. I think sour patch are overrated. You think so? I think they're good, but they're overrated. I would go decent I think, at I best. Think I put yummers there for sour patch. I go to are pretty good. Star Starburst. I go it. Go it. Would be goaded, but it just really just like. Molds around your teeth. Yeah, give me the yummers there. But I, the, I still might go go to because it's that good. Give me the yummers. What's your favorite star? I was, I was about, to, I was about to say rank red, it. red, cherry, red, pink, orange, yellow. You want me to rank them? I'm in the yeah. same same boat. There. Yellow, yellow, red, pink, orange. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they're might, all good. Yellow might be better than orange. I think orange yeah. might be the worst. I can argue lemon that. flavored things. Yeah. Uh, I'm in agreement. Lemon heads? How are they not on here? Those are those are those delicious. Are nice. Those yeah. are pretty good. I haven't had them Swedish much. fish are decent at best. Overrated. Yep. They are pretty overrated. I would go lower even. It's like it's based. Swedish fish are basically the red sour patch without the without the stuff on them. You see this? Yeah, but one? they're more like. But it's the same cinnamon kind of. Like no, they're not cinnamon. They're kind of ugh. Hot tamales are cinnamon. What the heck is that? It's a toothbrush. Oh, if you get that for Halloween. I've never had it for Halloween. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Can you eat the toothbrush? Like, what do you even just do? Just goat it because then we're healthy. No. But that's that's poop. Get it out of here. That's Poop? Why would I want you don't brush tooth- your teeth? I do brush my teeth. Why would I want a toothbrush for Halloween now? Okay. Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll is <laughs> poop. I mean, no, we didn't. They're sneaky good sometimes. Oh, these. These? Are, are, I. Are these the sour ones? Like those? Yeah. Are the, oh, those are goaded. Yeah, those I, are goaded. I actually agree. I probably wouldn't have said that because I haven't had them in so long. But I had them for the first time in a long time yesterday, and those I'm like, are oh goaded. my god, especially those the, are nuts. Especially, especially the, the red blue. and blue. Yeah, the red, red and half blue. red, half blue. Twix, Twix is really good. Are really good too. That's another one that goes in the yummers category. Those are, you know, Kit That's Kat a teeth one though too. Kit Kat, Reese's, and Twix. Those are those are really good chocolate Twizzlers. chocolate bars there. Twizzlers. I'd go to them. 
Really? Yeah. I'm going to put them at decent at best. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I got a fun Twizzler great. story, though. I was It was back when I was in high school. We were just in class, and one of uh, my classmates just decided to go in one of the cabinets one day when the teacher wasn't looking, and he saw a whole, you know, like those tubs of Twizzlers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he found them, and he would go in there every day and grab them. And one day, he was just going to get his daily his daily loot, his daily stash. He's got the cabinet open. It's like up here. He's got his hands in there. And a teacher walks in, and it happens to be the teacher that teaches the class who she wasn't teaching that the class there, but she owned the Twizzlers. She walks in as his hands in the cookie jar. She's like, "What are you? What are you doing? Excuse me." And he's like, "Talk about getting caught red-handed." That's what he said, <laughs> and he started laughing. Fun times. Are those fun times. vegetables. Vegetables. Poop. Poop. <laughs> what are we doing? Welch is Welch, fruit stuff. This is sneaky good. This is sneaky good. Like, I'd be happy. For hap- Halloween? Candy? I'd be yeah. happy if that was thrown in there. I'd put, I'm putting a num-num right there. These give me heartburn. I don't know. What? I'm putting a num-num right there. Those that's are, crazy. That's, that is underrated. Like, yeah. just imagine getting a... You're, out, you're with me, Fat I Patricia. Would, I, um, that's, definitely if that's in my. If that was given give to me... Give me another side shot. Go that way. Look All it. right, now go the other way. Yeah, let's look at it. Oh, it cheers in the way. Oh. Whoppers. God. Whoppers. Whop. Speaking of whoppers. Whoppers are poop. Poop? Yeah. They're decent. I'd no. go, I'll eat the poop. No. York? I'll, York, I'll eat the poop there. I'll yeah. eat it. So we got a battle between Num Num and Decent at Best here. Based like those poop ones, like I would just throw out if I got, like for yep. for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Toots, uh, Tootsie Rolls are sometimes good when they're the mini ones. Anything bigger than the mini, it's way too much. You ever had like the flavored like Tootsie Rolls? Yeah. Those are actually pretty good. Lemon one is nice. Yeah, those are decent. Lemon pledge? Lemon pledge. I mean, I put... This it. is a... That's a quality tier list right there. I mean, come on. Somebody's going to have a problem with it in Someone, the Someone's going to diss my life sa- my lifesavers up there. Well, those just, are goaded. It's just weird because, like, some people like the fruity candy. Some people like the chocolate candy. And if you hate fruity candy, you can't even make sense of having the fruity candy high. All right. You know what, what if... You know what? Get a... Oh, he's changing. Moving. Go ahead. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Skittles or Starburst for the goat? <laughs> Starburst all the way. You think so? I've had about 50 Starburst. You already made week. your decision. I'm going Skittles. Get the Skittles in the, in the goaded. Okay. No, let's say the rule is you only can have one goaded. Ooh. What are you putting at God. the top? God. Depends on what I'm in the mood for there. Though. No, no, but, no, how about it's one, your fruit, last? one fruit, one chocolate? Well, do I only have one chocolate. It's M&M. It's Those peanut M&Ms are just unreal. They are. Uh, but does anything top it? What's the second one next to peanut M and M's? Jolly Ranchers. Oh, I would not have those there. No, they're nice, but those get stuck in your teeth. I like those gummy worms, it. honestly. Like I'm, I want some of those right now. I had one of those like tiny bags two days. That's in what row. I mean. Like if you get one of those tiny bags, like for hollow for for trick or treating right there, like. I mean, like, you're, you're hit the jackpot. The gummy bears I've never been a huge fan of, but I like the commercials where it's, like, the grown the grown people talking to, like, little kids. Like, I like the Titans and the Panthers. The Panthers are my favorite. I like that's the gummy great, bears. That's a great uh, that's a great tier list right there. There you have it for the tier list. Halloween pickums. This was a blast, guys. This was Even though Good we one. all picked a lot of the same teams, I had a lot of fun with this one. I hope you guys did too as well. We got lots of trade deadline videos and lots more coming. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what happened? No, you. Uh, I thought I sounded like someone, so I kept going with it. But I, uh, we're not going to say who. We're not allowed to say who. Uh, oh. Get banned. We're going to get banned. Yep, yep, yep. Um, a great man. Uh, but look at this carrot. All right, I think that wraps it up. A lot of fun. Trade deadline videos on the channel. Definitely more to come. Trades are going on like crazy. Cam Robinson, right before we started recording, we're covering you live on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Links pinned in the comments. Check out all of our videos. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Patricia, what do you got? Any last words? Goodbye.